Oh, are we gonna have a machine gun talk battle with Ishimaru now? New elements, oh god. Why not? Fever time and negative time, that's too much. That's too much. Press the R button, you will initiate fever time, maximizing the tempo. During fever time, you can press any button whenever you like, and it will not count as a mistake. Just pressing X, triangle, X, triangle at your own pace is more than adequate to obliterate your opponent's assertions. However, fever time only lasts until the concentration gauge depletes, so make good use of the time. And, of course, it would be unfair if you were the only one with a special ability. For this reason, we have also allowed your opponent to make use of something called negative time. Your tempo markers will disappear, making it more difficult for you to time your button presses. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, no negative time. Okay! Alright, sure. I don't see the need if I don't have anything to counteract it. God damn it. Give me more shit. Fuck. Come on, Ishimaru. Give it up, baby. I win. I win. Got it. Nailed it. Got. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Damn it. Fire the kill shot. But jam. Motherfucker dead, son. Motherfucker nailed it. Motherfucker got it. Motherfucker, motherfucker nailed you right in the in the in the I don't know right in the cannolis. Oh. Why did you do it, man? Why did you kill him? Why did he have to? Why did he do it? That's the only thing I'm worried about now. Like, you get you six, seven medals. You, you had such a nice attitude toward her. Why did you do it? No, wait. Give us our reasoning. No. Why did you do it? Stop. Stop. Why did he kill her? Him. Fuck. <laughs> Do we get a reasoning? Man, why don't you suck ass? I thought you were cool, but apparently not. <laughs> it was not a unanimous vote. Ishimaru alone selected incorrectly. That was a close one, Ishimaru. You should be more careful next time. Wait, who did he vote for? Since it seems Uwada is exercising his right to remain silent, allow me to explain in his stead. A sad, sad tale of two men serves as the backdrop for our murder. Oh, and anyone who doesn't feel like reading... No, screw that. I'm reading this. I want, I want it. Once upon a time, there was a boy by the name of Jujiro Fujisaki. This boy had an extreme complex about being weak. Be a man. Time and time again, he heard those words, but he was never able to vanquish that weakness. Instead, he took refuge in a greater weakness. The boy became a girl. That was how he chose to escape from his problem. Now no one could tell me to be a man anymore. But no matter how far he withdrew into his shell, he was unable to eradicate the complex that he had taken, or that had taken root inside him. A shell, after all, is not but an empty husk. Rather than disappearing, Fujisaki, Fujisaki's complex grew more intense.
りたいんだ自分を信じたいんだ確かにでもだってI, <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm finished. Dang it, Rampa. Tugging on the heartstrings. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. No. This is way too much. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, this game is too much! This game is too much! No! No, 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 Stop. Stop. No. 
quit it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh my god! No! Jesus Christ, man! talk about some things but I probably shouldn't in this space <sighs> so we're just gonna get right on with it then <laughs> are they gonna chuck bikes at him do they have a huge th uh, storage of motorcycles and they're going to throw them at him
That was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen! What the fuck? <coughs> oh, death, do grace us with your gentle smile, and grant ye his soul everlasting peace. With the second murder, and then the second execution, it hit me again. That here, life is fragile. It hit me so hard I thought I might fall over. Our lives are painfully fragile. Ishimaru's bitter screams echoed through the courtroom. Each wail a painful reminder of that truth. And yet, one of us. Huh. Togami, shut the fuck up! You suck motherfucking ass! Oh, so he just did it to be a douchebag. All right, I see. Okay. No problem. <laughs> you fucking suck, dude. Thanks to Mr. Brilliant over here, it didn't come to that. <laughs> you made this a surprisingly good dry run. <laughs> now I know exactly who to watch out for when it's my turn to play villain. So he is going to kill somebody eventually in this. Now it's my turn. You've made both executions considerably elaborate ordeals. Why put so much effort into it? You a fan? Cause these punishments aren't just for you guys. This despair is not yours alone. These punishments, this despair, they're all they're for all mankind. No exaggeration. These punishments were designed to transform every last bit of hope into despair. Your obsession with finding meaning in things is meaningless. Okay. Swoon, you get it, Mr. Scion, sir. Oh, apparently Scion just means air. I don't know if I said that before, but whatever. I feel like you and I can make real great pals. Enough. As if I would ever get along with an infantile, or infantile criminal. In any case, I'll warn you now. After I seize my victory, you're next. You're listening? I will kill you. On the name of those destined to triumph, on my name as a Togami. 
badass. You sounded like a protagonist there. Kind of too bad you're just a side character, huh? I will kill you, I swear to God. Don't be so quick to anger. Want to hear my spiel about calcium? <laughs> the residents... Resonance of Monokuma's high-pitched cackle signaled the falling of the curtain on this trial. But it didn't end there. No, there's more bullshit to make me tear up a little bit. This academic coliseum did not cease. It refused to close its doors. A thick cloud of despair swirling around its survivors was slowly beginning to gain momentum. It was a despair so deep, you'd sooner put your money on a dog lost in Hades over us. It was a despair so dense. Our courage, our friendship, our effort, they all had no effect on it.